Welcome to Nameless Debate Radio, where radioactivity is contagious. You can join us in broadening our minds on the Nameless Debates Discord via the link below, and even feature here yourself, if you've got what it takes. And not to mention, he has already said he's yeah, not. Yeah, and Hillary take... Clinton, pr- and Hillary Clinton presented herself no, 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 as no, no, progressive. No, 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 no. He 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 supports a lot of leftist ideas. He supports. Well, I'd the... have to see. Okay, well, I'd have to see that because from what I've seen, like, do you have any articles on this? He supports, I know for a fact, he supports the carbon tax. Oh, okay, all right, yep, 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 let's get him in office. He he has said that he does not take any corporate PAC money, which is huge. Get him in office, get him in office, get him in office. Like, and I don't care, it, all he had to do is say carbon tax. Let's get him in office. You know, I do think climate change is a huge issue, but do you really trust the government to do it? Uh, no, not in the slightest. Well, at least not current governments, which is why I would support... Um, which is why I support Greens over like liberals. Like I'm Canadian. So you like the, you you like the idea of the Green New Deal? You know, use um, use renewable no, like, energy well, as a way uh, to bolster the economy. Uh, uh yes, like I'm Canadian, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you guys have the fucking tar sands over there. That, that oh gosh. Yeah, it's a pretty big issue over there, isn't it? Anyway, no, I think Beto has a great chance in 2020. I don't know. It's just. I see a lot of Democrats in the United States not liking him. Like, maybe there are some things that I've missed. Like, I admittedly haven't looked into the major problems with it, because, like, I am a very progressive person, so I sort of look into that. Like, I don't support Hillary. One, because I'm a pacifist, and she's a fucking warmonger. Fuck's sake. And she's also a liar. Oh, yeah. Like, major liar. My opponent is a liar and cannot be trusted. <laughs> Both of them were liars and they couldn't be trusted. We just got the one that was more racist than the other. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, but I didn't vote honestly, for either like, of them, honestly, so I'm good. Yeah, but honestly, I will care about the United States 2020 election once the Canadian election is done. Oh, because so right you, now, yeah, you're Canadian. That's yeah, because right now, all we have to worry... Oh, yeah, right now, all we really have to worry about is um, Andrew Scheer, and that's pretty much it. What, what about, hold on, what about that one motherfucker that was running for the conservative, uh... Maxime Bernier is not no, going no, no, to no, no, get no, the no, 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 uh, the fucking shark dude, uh, fuck, Kevin O'Leary. <laughs> no! What you remember him? No, I, I don't, but if he, if Kevin O'Leary actually ran for prime minister, I would want him to run. Dude, dude, no, like, no, 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 he was close. He was really, 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 really close. I'm pretty sure you're talking about Maxime Bernier. No, 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 like, Kevin O'Leary, Canada, Kev, like, no. Canada, like, right, like, it was 50-50, either Maxime or, uh, No, Sheer. Kevin O'Leary was in every, was leading in every single conservative leadership poll taken, Right. And the only reason he withdrew is because he could not speak French, and that was considered a massive uh, detriment. Uh, it's, it's against so the law. Like, so, can't be in office unless you speak French. So, so then he decided to endorse uh, Maxime Bernier. Yeah. And well, after- after, Maxime currently started the Canadian People's Party, which it's not going to win. Like, it's pretty much the Republican Party of Canada. Well, can, the American Republican Party. Do you think? Do you, do, you, no. do you think that Justin Trudeau is going to win again? Um, probably. Best, wor- best case scenario is going to be majority government is going to be majority liberals. But worst case scenario, either Sheer wins or it's uh, minority government. Hung. But here's the thing: unless Sheer actually, you gets don't think active, Elizabeth May is actually going to make inroads, do you? Um, Green Party is never going to win until they get Elizabeth May out of there. Like they have one seat. Yeah, but. Yeah, yeah, like I prefer. I believe it or not, I think the U.S. could use a uh, parliamentary style government, like whoever has the majority in the House of Representatives, whoever the uh, House Majority Leader is, is, becomes president. I mean, I'll say this right now, and this is both for the United States and Canada. We need to get rid of first past the post and the electoral college and, report, and replace it with proportional representation. Like, I just what, what about ranked choice voting? Sorry, what about ranked choice voting? Um. I've never heard of it. Elaborate. Instant runoff. Basically, you get a ballot and you list the candidates in order who you would vote for. One, two, three. And then your first vote, if they fail to get a majority, uh, they're dropped off. And then uh, more candidates are dropped off. It's like an instant runoff. The lowest scoring candidate gets dropped off. But then on the next round, you know, 
basically you list them one through five and let's say you wait, pick wait, wait your... is that what france has uh i'm not sure okay because now just... it's so, like, this is sort of sounding what france has except with more people yeah well, it, like, it's made... well, less people or whatever you want to call it like... i think that i think that ranked choice voting or instant runoff is a great idea because it would basically i'd like to get rid of the electoral college in favor of instant runoff i mean i don't know how you can support the electoral college period <laughs> I mean, everybody says, like, it's okay, dude, because we live in a republic. Do they even know what a republic is? Hey, Cranboat. He's not in here anymore. Oh, yeah, he boasts, like, the Roman Republic and everything, which, I'm going to be honest, when I heard, first heard him mention, like, America, America is the next Rome or something, I legit thought he was a fucking white nationalist. Because he it's might like, have... we live in a republic. Oh, boy. Yeah, fun fact. Um, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand, and I believe also Switzerland, are some of the high are some of the countries which the world ranks as the best dem- or the best equivalents of democracies. Do you just like develop the fucking Australian accent there? Um, well, did. actually, um, believe it or not, I'm a dual citizen, uh, Canadian and uh, British. I'm shocked. Yeah. But yeah, um, I do. I like. I, I hang around Australians Australians a lot. When I used to work at uh, Tim Hortons, I we had a lot of Australians who came and worked for us. But yeah, I see. Uh, well, yeah. I I have like here's the thing: nobody moves to the towns in like our valley. Like I'm not gonna say where I live because I don't dox myself. Unlike some people, <laughs> Aiden Paladin. Uh, I did. I did. Oh, right. I forgot that. Sorry. And if you know who Aiden Paladin is, just ugh. Well, the, well, the thing is, actually, in a half hour, I have to go to the council chambers and sit there for an hour and a half. So I'll be back in a little bit. Okay. Uh, okay. It's um, nice speaking to you. I mean, I yeah. know I've spoken to you before, but I'll just uh, yeah. Sorry. I already ha- I already have you added, so I'll All be right. back in a little while, buddy. TTYL, baby. Oh, TTYL. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. Thank you for listening. Like, share, subscribe, and join us in the Nameless Debates Discord. We hope to see you there.